The number of ozone alert days in Seoul has totaled 31 so far this year, according to city officials, posting a tenfold increase over the past decade. 올해 서울의 오존주의보 발령 일수가 지금까지 총 31일로 지난 10년 사이에 10배가 늘었다고 서울시 측이 밝혔습니다. So the air is getting well far from clean. Let's just say that. Tell us more about that. Yeah, I guess that would be that be that that would be <laughs> correct. So according to the city government on Wednesday, uh, the number of days with ozone alerts uh, that were issued in the city jumped to 31 through August. This year, so up to this point, from January mm-hmm. to August, um, and that's up from just three days in 2015. Um, so over that same period, the total number of ozone alerts issued in Seoul increased from four to 109 over this past decade. Right. Um, I mean, we have so many stories about the environment, but um, you know, it's not something to take lightly just because we have so many of these stories and uh, this one is about the ozone level I guess the air quality and uh, pollution in the air and it's just obviously gotten worse right I had to do a bit of research on this when we talk about ozone so Mm. ozone is a form of oxygen Mm -hmm. but it's O3 so it has three oxygen atoms and people hear about the ozone layer in our in our atmosphere so there's there's two types of ozone layers so there's the protective layer is that's in the upper atmosphere in the stratosphere which we're going to talk about in the uh, in the last story and that screens out harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun Um, but, but then there is a then there's harmful ozone in the lower atmosphere, and that's called, that's the um, the troposphere. So this actually poses risks to people, and this type of ozone is actually the major component in what's known as smog. So mm. we hear about smog all the time. So right. harmful ozone is when chemical is formed, um, when emissions like hydro- hydrocarbons and nitrous oxide from mm. vehicles, mm. from power plants, and some in- industries interact with sunlight. So this isn't about necessarily global warming. This is right. about pollution in the uh. air, all the cars and probably the coal burning in Korea, which, is, mm. which has always been a major issue. Yeah. 대기오염과 관련된 소식이죠. 네, 오존 알러트라는 거는 오존 주의보인데 이제 오존이 다량 발생한다라는 경보가 되겠습니다. Uh, and, then, and then when you say so far this year, what, what are you saying? Up to this point, so until now. 올해 지금까지라는 뜻으로 so far this year라고 얘기를 할수 있습니다. So you can say that at any point in the year. Obviously it's saying it's through August, so the first eight months of the year. 음. If you say it at the end of September, that'd be nine months, whatever, 그렇죠. whatever it is. And you can say so far today, you can even yeah. say that, so yeah. far this week. Mm-hmm. 맞아요. 그래서 뒤에는 좀 다른 단어들이 올수 있습니다. 어, 오늘 중에서도 이제 지금까지. 를 말하고 싶으면 so far today 이번 주 중에 지금까지는 so far this week 이런 식으로 얘기를 하면 되는데 올해 지금까지 이 오존 주의보가 발령된 일수가 31일입니다. 2024년 현재 그런데 지난 10년 동안의 데이터를 보게 되면 10년 전에는 어 이제 그 1년에 한 3일 정도 이렇게 오존 발령 주의보가 내려졌던 일수가 많지가 않았어요. 그러니까 굉장히 많이 늘었다는 걸알수 있습니다. All right, so let me read the headline once again. The number of ozone alert days in Seoul has totaled 31 so far this year, according to city officials, posting a tenfold increase over the past decade. Let's move on to the next headline.